Um, we are here with a special uh, five questions. Um, we've got Sean Bormet, who is in Salzburg, Austria. Josh Torella, who is in Normandy, France. Um, I just want to um, start out asking you guys, um, and it might be similar for for both of you. But what does the what does the next week look like? Um, we're we're recording this on a Monday, so we're one week out of from the wrestling competition. Um, Sean, how about you start? What is what does the next week look like? So really, it's just about routine for your for your athlete. You know, we have uh, Austin Gomez and Miles Amin here in Salzburg. Uh, we got here a day ago. Just getting back on the mat, you know, they had a couple of days where their training was pretty light through the opening ceremony portion. Um, now it's really just kind of getting into a into their routine, uh, working on a lot of just skills, timing, con, you know, keeping your conditioning levels um, sharp, recovery. So it's pretty much a tapering phase right now, but there's still a lot of time to to sharpen skills, and and really it's ultimately about getting getting them comfortable getting their mind right so they're they're ready to compete next week in Paris. Yeah, What's the vibe of been it, around? Oh, I'm sorry, Jess, go ahead. No, I think, uh, you know, just, you know, getting getting here to, to France and, you know, these guys the first four days, I know there's a lot going on with media and, uh, you know, opening ceremonies and, you know, getting, finally getting to our base camp, I think getting settled, just really focusing on, you know, making sure your, your sleep cycle is, is where it is back home. And then, uh, like Sean said, I mean, we're, we're kind of at the point of the tapering phase where you're, you're, you know, you're honing in on your skills, you're staying sharp, but the rest of recovery is equally as important. And I think just, just keeping a positive perspective and uh, positive reinforcement and keeping things light is, is ultra important as well. Um, you know, that answers a little bit of my next question of, you know, what's the vibe been around camp? Are these guys, are these guys relaxed? Are these guys focused? You know, I guess, well, how does that progress over the next week as well? Josh, you first. Um, yeah, for us, you know, it's it's pretty neat. Obviously, uh, Mason and Adam Cooner here and Ben Honus uh, as a training partner um, for uh, for Mason. So, yeah, the energy has been great. You know, we're we're in a city, Holgate, um, which is like 130 miles west of, of Paris. Um, it's in a region of Normandy. So they're in a great environment, great training situation. Um but yeah, I think, you know, you obviously you're you're intense when you have to be intense in, in the moment, but you're keeping the practices short. The environment's been been great. Like I said, a lot of, a lot of positive reinforcement, just keeping things light um, and just kind of doing everything together and eat meals, rest and recovery. And and then I think it's equally important to, to get your mind off the off wrestling. So, you know, we're a couple of miles, not a couple of miles, a couple of blocks from the beach here. So we've been, you know, doing some things as a group going down to the beach and, and just uh, getting your mind off the sport as well. Hey, uh, Josh, are you guys, I'm just, so for everyone tuning into this, this is the first time I'm actually seeing Josh. So we're communicating uh, through phone messages and stuff, but it's the first time I'm actually seeing Josh. Are you guys training at the same time? Like the freestyle and the Greco, are you seeing Adam and Momir much? Or are you guys training at different times? Yeah, there's a little bit of overlap. I mean, yesterday we were, they were off, we were on, but today we were on. So I was able to obviously put Mason through workout at 10, 15, and then, uh, Adam rolled into 11 o'clock workout, um, which was nice. So I was able to, you know, to watch the remaining of his workout. And, and I know those guys are, are sawing and recovering together right now as we speak. So um, that's, yeah. that's been, that's been pretty neat, but yeah, I mean, that, the men's freestyle and women's freestyle and Greco are, are all here. Um, great facilities. Uh, you know, we, we got everything we need. I know you guys do as well. And, and you know, they do a great job in Austria. So, um, but yeah, everything's been great here so far. That's awesome. And that's part of it. I mean, it's, you know, you want both. You want ultra focus when it's time to train and, and your mental preparation to go into that workout and your mental preparation and, and focus during that training session. But outside the training session, you really want them relaxed and you want them around as much positivity and the people that make them comfortable and confident. And, you know, at the USA camp where Josh is, there's, you know, it's a bigger group, but with Mason and, uh, and uh, Adam together and their coaches there with them, um, we have a similar situation here in Austria. We've got a great relationship with the, the Austrian team. Uh, they've come to Ann Arbor several times to train with us. We were at this same training location last year prior to the world championship. So there's a lot of familiar familiarity for us here. We're really comfortable. It's a great hotel. We got a smaller group with, you know, Miles Amin and his training partner, Alex Daringer. Uh, Miles' brother, Malik, came over. Um you know, Austin Gomez has Dylan Ragus in here as his training partner. And then myself, Coach Jackson, Sergey, 
And, um, you know, so there's a lot of familiarity and it's a small group, but it's the people that make them comfortable, make them feel confident. And there's a lot of camaraderie. So when we're not in the training session, we're, you know, we're, we're signing together, we're going into town, having dinner together. And, you know, really it's just a focus of, uh, keeping them relaxed, keeping them energized, but just creating that environment. So there's a lot of calmness and a lot of, a lot of confidence just seeping through everything you're doing day to day. point do you guys make the move back to Paris? We fly from Austria back to Paris on, on August 4th. And, um, you know, and from a freestyle standpoint, you know, miles will miles and uh, Stevan will compete first and that'll be, you know, obviously August 8th. Um, you know, when I roll in on the fourth, I'll make sure I'm going to, I'm going to get over there right away. First thing in the morning on August 5th, just to make sure I'm there to see Adam and uh, be there just as a support system and a, you know, and, a, and more of a psychological aspect uh, behind the scenes for Adam Kuhn. Um, but we're here, we're here through August 4th. And then we're just one day behind him. We'll arrive August 5th. It's a three hour bus drive for us. So we'll, we'll be in August 5th. Obviously Adam will be leaving here shortly. Um, as like Sean said, he'll be, he'll be going and start us off on the fifth. Um, you know, kind of shifting gears just a little bit. Um, you know, how, how much more enjoyable is this experience? So we got a little taste of this at, at worlds last year with our three medalists, but you know, how much more enjoyable is this, this whole process, you know, starting from, you know, April to this point to do this as such a big group. You know, so many, so many wrestlers involved, so many training partners around, so many coaches involved. Um, how much more special does that make it, Sean? Yeah, anytime, you know, obviously this has always been the goal is to continue to grow our success and and to get to the point where this year we have, you know, five guys from Michigan competing in the Olympics. You know, we have guys at two different training locations we have training partners with, you know, we have a whole you know, our whole college program has been involved with the training throughout the summer and, and sort of watched and and they've benefited from being involved in, in, in the level of all that training and the psychological level of all that training. Um, you know, it just makes it extra special. And even here at this at our camp, you know, we're we're here and we're we're in conversations and we're talking about Adam, we're talking about Mason and you know, telling stories about, you know, those guys and talking about, you know, how everyone can't wait to kind of get back to Paris uh, to, to see everyone compete and, and just sort of be there to, you know, obviously each guy's focused on his own competition days, but the the excitement throughout the whole group is uh, it's a constant. And uh, from a coach's standpoint, it's really exciting to see and uh, really beneficial for our program from top to bottom. Anything to add to that, Josh? Yeah, I mean, I, I think anytime you have an Olympian representing your program is really special and is and should be celebrated. And when you have multiple and, and up to five, I think is is just you know it's pretty amazing. So I think these guys, you know, they you know they know they're going into this. They're not alone. <laughs> they got you know four other fellow Michigan Wolverines um, chasing down the same goal of winning Olympic gold, and and that's that's just extra confidence. I think these guys are going to take to the mat um, come in you know in the, the next week. Um, so I think it's pretty special. And like Sean said, I mean, right now we're, we're separated, but we're all looking forward to getting back together in Paris and, and we'll, we'll you know, we'll be kind of one cohesive team once we get there. But, um, but yeah, it's pretty, it's been an amazing journey just watching all these guys, um, you know, you know, make these teams and qualify the spot for the Olympics for their, for their countries. And, um, it's been a process from, you know, when we were in the season to Pan Ams through, or I should say world championships last year through Pan Ams and our, and our college year and, and through the Olympic trials uh, with Adam and Mason. So it's been a great journey. And, um, you know, I'm, I've been super happy to, to be along these, the journey with these guys. And I know the rest of our staff has as well. You talk about the journey and, and Sean and I talked about this before uh, you guys left town, but you know, what does, what does this speak to the growth of, um, of our RTC of our Cliff Keen wrestling club, um, the commitment that we have to freestyle and Greco and the international styles. And, you know, Sean, I know you said um, this is not the end of it. Our goal is to keep growing um, even further beyond 2024. So can you speak to that a little bit too? Yeah. I mean, honestly, the goal is constant growth in, in everything we're doing and constant improvement. And we, you know, we take it everything we've done and we're, you know, obviously we're really excited about, this this rare achievement and we got you know this next step of now all these guys going to going to bring home some hardware 
And, um, you know, so, but we'll also take all these things and we'll look at it. And as we move into this next Olympic cycle, the same commitment will be there. You know, we're always trying to improve and grow, um, you know, and, it, and to be honest, it really, it starts with our resources and with the, the people that have really, really stepped up and been investing in everything we're doing, you know, from our Cliff Keen Wrestling Club and the RTC to the college program and, and even with NIL and without, without that support and the commitment from all those incredible people and those really special people that are supporting us, this, these opportunities and this kind of success is impossible, you know, so it really starts with that. And we need to continue to continue to even grow that commitment. Um, Cause the more, the more resources, the more support we've had, the more success we've been able to achieve. And, and that's what we want to continue. Um, so, you know, after we get through this, uh, this Olympics, you know, right away, we'll be, we'll be shifting gears and, and sort of refocusing everything uh, for this next Olympic cycle. I already ordered my 2028 Olympic games hat for LA. It should be sitting in my mailbox when I get home, I'll be putting it on immediately, but that dual commitment, um, it's, it's every day it's on your mind. You're, you're constantly looking, how can we do this better? How can we grow this area? You know, what guys are we going to bring in, uh, continue to bring in, keep, keep our own wrestlers from our program as they're graduating. What other guys that are, that are sort of uh, reaching out to us, Ultimately, all that's to drive up the level of the wrestling environment in Ann Arbor in our wrestling room on a daily basis, create the greatest wrestling environment we possibly can. And the commitment to that is not going to change. I asked Miles this the other day, and, you know, it, the same applies to you. But, you know, this is this is the kind of the greatest success that we've had internationally in our program's history. So, you know, as alums, Josh, you know, how proud are you to be part of this? Um, I mean, super proud. I mean, I think all the alums around the country should share that same um, feeling of, of being proud because, you know, it's it, it does start from the alumni base and the support from the Cliff King Wrestling Club. And and it's a huge joint effort of everyone giving back. So, um, yeah, it's special to watch, um, you know, the growth in the last, you know, 12 years on staff and and just kind of watch what the impact the club has had. Um, and, you know, helping our college guys uh, get to a new level as well. So um, it's just been a, a special experience, you know, looking, you know, taking the coaching hat off and just, you know, looking at it as an alumni. Um, and I and I've, you know, heard that from, you know, fellow teammates of mine and and, um, you know, this they share that that same, you know, level of, of being proud. And, and uh, you know, we, we get text messages of encouragement and things like that all the time. So. It's it's definitely been a, a special time um, in Ann Arbor with uh, with Michigan wrestling and like Sean said, we hope to continue to to help elevate and, and keep growing as a as a program. Okay, that's all I've got. Anything else? Do you have anything else for each other? Josh, I'll see you in a few days. I hope you're getting I hope you're getting a few saunas in yourself. Oh, every day, <laughs> every day I haven't missed. So I, I plan to do that here in the next hour. So yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys. We're fired up to get the get the unit back together. Yeah, I can't wait. We'll give uh, give Big Mason and Adam a big hug, and uh, we'll see you guys in a few days in Paris. Awesome. Likewise. All right. Thanks, guys. Good luck. We'll be watching. Thanks, Leah. Going for gold and gold blue. Go blue. Go blue.